Hi, welcome everyone. Kevin Carpenter, volunteer CPPCon, and I'm here with Kristen Shaker. Kristen, long time no C. I think it was what, you know, C++ now. Not CPP on C this year, though. No, mm -hmm. no. You didn't make that one for us. I, no. but, but we're here about CPPCon. I can't believe I'm talking about the other conferences, but I mean, I get to see you at so many of them, so. <laughs> so, welcome. Thanks for taking time to chat with me. So Hi. you work at Google, right? Yeah, I am a senior software engineer at Google. Uh, I am on the C++ Core Laboratory team. I have been on that team for the entire duration of my tenure at Google. It's a really great team full of really smart, really interesting people who make me feel inadequate on a day-to-day -day basis. Not intentionally, <laughs> uh, but I have learned a lot and uh, I really enjoy the work that I do. So excited to be able to talk about it at a conference. I, I kind of get your feeling on that because I have a few people on my team that I'm like, yeah, whenever I, I just, I do my code push and I just wait because I, I know that comment's coming and it's always in a good way, but then I'm always like, really, I missed that? You know, so at least that's how I feel that way. So I think I can kind of relate. So an automated tool for C++. fill in the blank. So <laughs> okay. right? Yeah, refactoring your C++ code. Um, the idea of the talk is to take you from zero to sixty or zero to one hundred. I don't know. I don't know what the miles per hour analogy is. Um, I do computers, not cars. <laughs> although, <laughs> um, although my entire family does cars, so that's really embarrassing. You don't show this to any of them because I will never hear the end of it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the idea is to take you from zero to one hundred. Um, writing your first refactoring tool using the Clang LLVM libraries. Uh, it is the, like these tools ship with Clang, but mm -hmm. as long as your code compiles with Clang, even if you use MSVC or GCC, you can always do like a first pass with these refactoring tools. So just because your company might not use Clang exclusively doesn't mean that this won't be an interesting um, and like generally helpful talk. Hopefully. Right on. <laughs> and so, I have to say, and, and like I said earlier, you know, I've seen you. So, so in, in fairness, I think we first met at 2019 CPP con. I think that sounds right. Yeah. I think, I think that was right. And so since then I can't use, I, I would need more than two hands. I think to count the amount of conferences that I, we don't, think it, I don't think, I don't think it's been that many. I think I just have a, an outsized personality. So it just seems like a lot. Well, and you know, and it's, I, I'm probably being wishful thinking and, and thinking of next year and the year after too, but it's always cool to get to hang out with you whenever we're at conferences. So I think that's the important thing. But um, <laughs> this is, this will be your first talk at CPPCon, isn't it? Yeah, it's my first feature length talk. I, I gave a five minute uh, talk about how to use AST measures to isolate specific pieces of your code uh, at CPPNC and I am doing basically the full length version of that talk. Uh, nice. So there's somewhat of a reprisal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The idea is like that subset, like what I talked about in, in that in that presentation, it, like it, there's a, a decent amount of time allocated to it in, in this in this talk, so. Cool. And I will be using my own computer and not Phil Nash's. So <laughs> I won't, I will be able to actually type out what I'm trying to type out. <laughs> I do seem to remember that now that you break it up, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. But you did, you did great at it, and I recovered. I recovered. Yes, and I think it's on YouTube if anybody wants to go find that. Now that we're talking yeah. about it, you yeah, will find it. <laughs> Watch this talk; it'll be better. There find this go. talk on YouTube. So you're giving your talk on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and you're going to have a very busy Wednesday. Oh, yes. The women's luncheon is also on Wednesday. The women's luncheon. So, so I want to say you've sponsored or, you know, you or Google, I mean, you've, you've had it a bit for the women's luncheon for a couple years now, haven't you at least? Uh, for the first one was last year. Okay. Um, yeah. And then I, I did organize like a small event at CVP now. So you might be thinking of that. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Which I hope to do again next year as well. And we look forward to it hopefully next year too. Yeah. <laughs> so, but for the one this year, um, how does, so women in tech, right? Or. Yeah. The idea is to just 
create a venue where the women at the conference have a chance to network and socialize amongst people that might understand the unique challenges they face um, in the workplace in general and in the tech industry specifically. Uh, 80% of your job, like future jobs come from your network. So right. it's really important to create like the opportunity for people to build that network. Um, and this is hopefully one of those situations. That's the idea. You know, it's, it is actually, I mean, I absolutely get that part about the networking because to a point, that's one of the reasons why I always like doing the volunteering, the amount of people that I get to meet, interact with at a, in a way that I normally, I never did at a conference until I started volunteering. So, you know, um, and for you to work and do that so that all the women of the conference really have something special. I think that's, that's really cool too. So, <laughs> and so fortunately that'll be after your talk is done. No, right? it's, no, before that's right. it's before. Yeah, yeah. So I could always ask Daisy to move my talk. Um, <laughs> but part of me just wants to say like, okay, so I haven't decided. Cause I feel like it depends on how prepared I am. Right. If I, <laughs> No, going into next week that I'm going to need that lunch hour to update my talk. Maybe I'll have Daisy move me to Thursday. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But the women's lunch is definitely on Wednesday. Yes. There we That's go. That's more important than my talk. <laughs> well, so women's lunch, you'll have a nice lunch. I'm sure you're, you'll be more than well enough prepared. Then you'll have your talk in the afternoon. For everyone watching this to make sure that they sign up to go see, we need to make sure that we fill Kristen's room. Right. Uh, please don't do that. <laughs> well, you can fill up whatever. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. The fewer people in the audience, the less embarrassed I will be when I make mistakes. But then I guess it goes on YouTube. So the mistakes will be memorialized forever. Uh, yeah, Google doesn't forget. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter how many people are in the room. Yeah. No, it's. It's, it's kind of funny, like I, I hadn't given a talk for a few years and when I gave mine at, um, at uh, Core C++, it, that was the first one I'd given in like five years. And it was really kind of nice because there were a couple key people that came in, you know, um, that, you know, Hannah came in and Pete came in and it's like, okay, it didn't matter who else came in because Hannah was like, you know, I'm going to be here just to heckle you. And, and to get heckled by Hannah, that would be, that would be it's an honor, a compliment. Really. So you know, I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good now. So, so we'll make sure to, to fill the front row at least. Yeah. Ask me a bunch of really nice questions at the end. That, that we can do too. <laughs> so, you know, if, if someone was going to take a class at CPPCon, they would probably already be at the Gaylord by this time next week, because classes start on Saturday. Yeah, okay. it's that close. We're, you know, just over a week away. So um, a week from Sunday will be registration and reception. And so I'm looking forward to seeing you there. I am. Ex I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to seeing both you and Kristen. <laughs> right on. And so until next week, uh, I will talk to you more later. Look at looking forward to seeing you at the conference. Oh. And our time is up. That's, That's perfect. <laughs> We'll talk to you next week, Kristen. <laughs> Thank you.